this one uh, is from Ashley. Hmm? She's saying just your number one tip for BJJ noobs. Let's see. So uh, one, of of one hundred tips, let's. Uh, I'll try to give two because one one might be already accomplished. You got you got to find an environment, a teacher, a team that that you like. Maybe not. You know, some people will will pick the most accomplished guy they can imagine on paper. Sometimes that's not the type of coach for you. You have to see how that person teaches. I know people who are, were never, I mean, they were, they were solid jiu-jitsu uh, teachers. They were never particularly good as an athlete. They're, they're very good teachers though. I mean, they've competed, they know what they're doing. I know some people who, who really can't teach, but they were great fighters. I'm talking, these were top level fighters. And that's not, usually they can teach, okay? I'm saying it has happened sometimes for either person. They're not very patient. You know, you get some people want the environment where everyone has to bow and call the, the, the coach, the professor or sensei, you have to or you get in trouble. Someone a more relaxed environment, someone in an environment where they can ask questions, some don't. Some don't want to hear people's dumb questions, right? So, so I think it's really important you find the environment that encourages you. And of course, the teacher is a very important part of that environment. And that's just, that's paramount. If that's too boring for you because it's obvious and maybe you already have that situation, God bless you, great, congratulations. Um, my goodness, it's, I mean, all oh, relax, yeah, but that, that, that sucks when you're young and someone says you relax, relax, right? okay, I've heard that a thousand times. Um, it's, it's to keep your motivation because the more people you tell, oh, I trained Jiu-Jitsu, most people are going to say, yeah, you know, you think you're going to be tough, you're, you're weak. They're going to try to uh, trash your dreams or your passions. This is most people in the world. I'm not trying to say everyone's evil, no, nothing like that. But it's human nature for some reason. When someone says something a little outlandish, like this crazy grizzling in sport, why are you doing that? Like, people want to put you down for some reason. Oh, I want to win this tournament. Yeah, you can't win. You think, well, so you're going to hear this kind of stuff from people. Not so much in the jiu-jitsu community, but people around you. So how do you keep your motivation when you have, <clears throat> yeah, we'll call it negative influence. And some people don't even know they're doing it. They just, they just say it, it's human nature. They might be making jokes, trying to sound funny, and they're not. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But it's just to, just to stay grounded and be around the, the, the right environment and realize that average person, even if they're not trying to be mean to you or bad to you, uh, it can be negative. So be careful who you share your dreams with um, realize if you get beat up one day, it only makes you stronger. Some days you work on your defense only because you're not feeling good or you're, you're tired. Some days you're on fire and you can try out these crazy new moves and have fun with them. I'd say just keep your fire reserved and, and be careful who you trust uh, with, with details and information so you, you're surrounded by more positive, positive influences.